today I want to talk about uh, glaciers, ice sheets, and ice transport. So one of the interesting things about ice is that the viscosity of ice is very high. Uh, it flows very, very slowly and there's a lot of friction within the flow. And that means that the Reynolds number, which is the flow depth, the flow speed, the density over the viscosity, is very, very low. So it's well less uh, than 500, which is our boundary between transitional and laminar flows. So glaciers are laminar. So the flow being laminar means that the transport of sediment by ice is fundamentally different than it is in a water or an air uh, type flow. Right? So this is uh, one key aspect of glacier transport or ice transport that's really uh, important. So the sec second thing I want to talk about is the weathering characteristics. So there are uh, several key aspects of this. One of the main things that defines where glaciers um, and ice transport are prevalent is the cold temperatures. Right. So the cold has uh, two effects, one of which is that the chemical weathering is very slow. And so you tend not to have very much chemical weathering going on in uh, glacial environments. And the second thing is that the, the freeze-thaw aspects uh, are common. So, um, and this is, uh, of course, the, the physical weathering. And there are lots of details about uh, how pressure melting of the ice at the bottom of a glacier can produce liquid water that can then um, squeeze into cracks under the glacier um, to enhance the freeze thaw. Uh, sometimes uh, glaciers will freeze to the bottom and can pluck rocks out of the bottom. So there are, there are a lot of ways that this uh, freeze thaw weathering processes um, entrain sediment into, into the glaciers. And that is um, mostly a physical process. Right. So we have physical weathering dominates. As the, as the, second, um, the second part of this. And, and if you think about that in terms of the sediment composition, this really implies that the composition of sediment transported by glaciers is the same as the composition of the material that it is uh, eroding. So we have this, this, uh, process, this uh, freeze-thaw process, but there's also uh, a second process that, that can count in under weathering, but I'm going to put it separate because it's really important for glaciers. And that's the grinding of grains. Right, so that does fit uh, within the physical weathering here. The idea is that if you have ice and you have rock, the ice is, is flowing over that rock and it's laminar, so the parts go on, um, the, the, the grains and ice crystals are all moving parallel to each other. And what happens is if you have a rock here that's near the base of the flow, it gets pulled downstream in the ice flow 
and it tries to go in a straight line. But just like in a water flow, at the base of the flow, there's a lot of friction. And what happens is this rock gets dragged along the bottom here. So you have lots of friction. And that friction ends up uh, grinding the rock away. So often what you see in terms of, of rock, say you have a rock and it's ground along the bottom, you end up with flat surfaces called facets. So you end up with rocks that have these unusual, um, uh, very flat surfaces. Uh, you also get the, the products of that grinding. When you grind something away, it produces very, very, very fine particles. And that is called rock flour. Right. It's called flour because it has a very similar texture to like uh, wheat flour or something that you, that you would bake, uh, bake with. Okay. The third thing is that as these rocks scratch, the, uh, the bedrock, it's, the rocks are grinding over, also gets smoothed out. And so we call these, they get smoothed out to the point it's flat like pavement. So we call them uh, glacial pavements. Okay. And then sometimes there are weaknesses in the rock down below or there's a particularly hard rock sitting above that and they often have uh, grooves or striations. And those striations would be on the glacial pavement and can also be on the, the faceted clasts. Thanks for watching.